How's it going, everyone? This is Kenny from Movie Measure. I just wanted to take a few minutes today to go over what the process is for completing a trailer check um, with our company in case um, you maybe have not done a trailer check before or you've done a trailer check with a different company, um, but this is your first time doing one with us. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do once you've been assigned a location um, by someone here in the scheduling office is you're going to want to check out the show times. And so you can uh, kind of make a plan um, for your actual check at the theater. So the website that uh, I like to use for checking out show times is Fandango. And the reason being Fandango provides a lot of specific information that some uh, other sites don't. Um, and so for example, if I'm looking at um, this uh, four o'clock show time for Dora and the Lost City of Gold, um, not only will it have all the theater information, but will it'll also have the uh, number of the, aud of the auditorium. And so the reason why that's important is because you're going to be required to check each auditorium and each format that the film for that week is playing in. Um, and so you're going to need to figure out which auditoriums are playing the film and at what times. And so uh, for this particular example, for this theater, we're going to be looking at the movie Fast and Furious, Hobbs and Shaw. And so uh, the other reason why I like Fandango is because it will usually have the runtime of the movie right here. Um, and so this runtime is two hours, 18 minutes. And so uh, the way that you're going to figure out um, how many screens you're going to need to check is uh, you look at uh, each showtime, and if the difference between them is less than the runtime of the movie, then you can be sure that those are in separate auditoriums. And so if I look at the 11.10 a.m. and the 12 o'clock p.m., the difference of those is only 50 minutes. And so there's no possible way that the theater could play both of those showtimes in the same auditorium. Um, and so if we click on the 11.10, Showtime, um, it looks like it's in auditorium number 10. And just to uh, double check our work, um, if we click on the 12 o'clock p.m. showtime, it's auditorium 9. And so uh, you know right there that that's uh, two different auditoriums that you're going to need to check. Um, and so if you look at the 11.10 and now the 2.20 p.m., uh, the difference of those is more than the runtime of the movie. And I usually like to add about 10 to 15 minutes to the actual runtime because the theater staff will usually go in and uh, pick up garbage and clean and do um, uh, that kind of thing. So uh, the 11.10 and 2.20 um, are definitely going to be in the same auditorium. So uh, then it's going to be the same thing with the 12 o'clock PM and the 3.15 because the uh, difference is large enough of the two times. And then it's just so on and so forth um, with this particular example. So um, the first screen is going to be the 11.10 a.m., the 2.20 p.m., the 5.30 p.m., and the 8.40 p.m. And then the second standard screen is going to be 12 o'clock p.m., 3.15 p.m., 6.30, and 9.40. And so for this particular example, there are two standard screens, uh, there's two standard 2D screens. Um, and so uh, that's two right there. And then you're going to also need to do each format. So this particular theater um, is also playing this movie, Hobbs and Shaw, in RPX. Um, and so if we take a look at the RPX show times, the difference between all of these is uh, pretty large, um, more than the runtime of the movie. So we can be sure that these four show times are going to be in the same screen. And if we want to double check our work, we can uh, click this show time. And it uh, looks like this one is in Auditorium 7. And then if we go back and check one of these other RPX show times, Sure enough, it's in Autumn 7. And so uh, that's uh, going to be, for this particular example, two standard screens. Uh, so that's uh, this first grouping of showtimes, and then one RPX screen, which is this uh, grouping of four showtimes. And so you don't need to check each showtime. You only need to check each auditorium in each format once. And so you just have to pick one uh, showtime for each screen. So for example, this first uh, set of uh, standard screens, you could check the 11.10 and the 12, that would get you both standard screens. Or you could check the 2.20 and the 3.15, those two would also get you both standard screens, and so on and so forth. And so you pick one showtime for each of the standard screens, and then you'll have to get the RPX screen as well. Um, so you can pick any one of these four showtimes. And so that'd be three tasks in total. Um, the Movie Measure app will tell you the number of tasks. Um, this information is usually accurate. Um, I would say at least 90% of the time it's accurate, but the theater um, may change things around. So when you get um, actually on site um, at the theater, it's always good to check with the theater manager to confirm um, that your uh, plan is going to be uh, 
uh, in accordance with uh, what the uh, theater is actually playing. And so um, that's how to figure out the number of tasks. And so that's how to make your plan before you um, actually head to the theater. And uh, now we're going to switch over to the actual app. Um, so you can see the functionality of it and uh, what the process is for uh, utilizing the app to complete your trailer check at the theater. OK, guys, so now we're going to look at the actual app itself. Uh, once you've been assigned a uh, trailer check, it's going to be in your schedule column um, up until the day of the check, which is usually a Friday. It will move to the today column. So we see here that the assignment has the name of the movie theater. It has the name of the film that we're going to be checking. And it also has the address. So once you're ready to go on this check, you're, you've arrived at the theater and you're ready to begin, you would hit start now. And so this is your actual app screen um, inside of the assignment. Uh, once you're at the theater, you would uh, go to theater check-in. It'll ask you, are you using a partner today on the check? If you are, then hit yes, but otherwise hit no. It'll confirm the number of tasks. We see three tasks in three auditoriums and in the, and the uh, formats as well, like we just figured out looking at the Fandango times. So we'll click OK. And uh, if we're at the theater, then we hit confirm. And this will actually send us your GPS uh, location from your phone. So don't hit that um, theater check-in until you're actually at the theater. So the next thing is the theater schedule. Um, if the manager has a paper schedule, you can take a photo of that. Um, you can also uh, take a photo of their computer screen if they can turn it around for you. Um, it's not imperative, so if you click in here, um, if you have the schedule, then definitely uh, take a picture of it. If there is no schedule or they um, only have it on their computer and you can't take a photo, then just hit no. So we'll hit no for now. And uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is um, uh, go to guest services or somewhere where you can find a manager. Uh, you just explain, hi, I'm here for movie measure. I'm going to be auditing the trailers for so-and-so movie. In this case, uh, Fast and Furious, Hobbs and Shaw. And uh, if the manager needs to see uh, some sort of authorization letter, you can click this little uh, paperclip icon here. That'll bring up the letter of authorization. Um, this is from uh, Fox. It basically says you're there to collect trailer data. Um, you're not going to stay and watch the movie, so on and so forth. So uh, if the manager needs to see something like that, you can pull that up there. And so the next thing you're going to do is uh, get the manager's signature. Um, it'll ask, are you still able to complete your assignment? It's imperative that you hit yes if you um, are able to complete it. Um, if, however, the manager is not willing to let you in for the assignment and they're not uh, uh, going to be cooperative, then you would hit no. But definitely do not hit no um, unless uh, you're not able to complete the assignment because it will lock you out of the rest of the app and um, you'll have to start over. So we're going to hit yes. And uh, what I usually like to do is uh, give the manager my phone. I just say, hi, can you please uh, type your name and then sign in the box? So they'll type their, their name here, whatever it is, and uh, they'll go ahead and sign in the box and then hit done. And so uh, now you got the manager's signature and uh, we're ready to add our first uh, showtime. So you would click the add a screen to audit. And uh, now it's gonna uh, give you the option to select the format up here you would hit uh, standard or large format and uh, it will populate um, all of the show times at that theater based on online um, information. Uh, these look to be the same as the, um, uh, the Fandango time. So um, if you don't see the correct show time in this list, then you would go down here to add show time and uh, you can manually select it in here. Um, but we're gonna assume that the show times are correct. So we'll say that we're here to watch uh, the trailers for the 940 showtime and we'll click this little plus button here. Uh, it'll confirm it. You hit confirm and now that task is added. So that's the task right there. So we'll click into it. Um, it'll ask uh, can you still audit this showtime? We will hit yes. So now it's, uh, the first step is to do some connectivity checks just to see if uh, you have phone service or Wi-Fi. Go through that. Next is the auditorium check-in. It'll just ask you some basic information like what auditorium number you're in. We'll say three. What's the maximum capacity? Usually that's posted on the wall. We'll just put whatever. It'll ask you the format. We know this is a standard screen. Um, you can tell the format um, uh, uh, by the size of the screen. So you have standard screens. That's a normal size screen. Then you have a large format. Um, there's quite a lot of uh, large format types. I, that's like your RPX or um, 
other uh, large format depending on the circuit. Um, most circuits have their own uh, a large format type. So like RPX is Regal's large format, um, but Cinemark has their own and Bowtie has their own, etc., etc. And then you have some other options here. Dolby, IMAX, 4DX, that's like uh, when you have vibrating seats and uh, that type of thing. Uh, and you have 70 millimeter, um, but that's really uncommon. And so it'll ask you also, is the movie playing in 2D or 3D? This is in 2D, and then we'll press done. And so we'll go back here. The next step here is the audience measurement. This is uh, some demographic questions that help the movie studios figure out who's uh, actually there. Um, you just take a quick look around the auditorium and see uh, what age groups are there. We'll just select some random ones. Uh, then you want to also look around and see what's the approximate male-female breakup. Um, whatever it is, uh, just do your best to estimate. And then uh, also the attendance. So you don't necessarily have to count people, just do your best to estimate um, how full the auditorium is. So once you've done all that, hit done. And uh, now we go into the actual trailer checks. And so you click into the trailer checks and uh, read these uh, little reminders here. Click OK. And uh, once the trailers start playing, um, you'll know when they start playing because uh, you'll usually walk in and there'll be some ads playing, you know, Toyota, Chevy, uh, Geico, whatever it is. And then uh, you'll see that green uh, MPAA um, uh, screen and that'll tell you that, that the uh, trailers are starting. So that's how you, you know. So once the first trailer starts, you're going to want to press the start listening button. Um, in my case, because I'm not in a movie theater right now, I'm just going to play one on YouTube on my computer. Movie, good boys. Those are visas. Anyway, you guys cannot watch the trailer for your own movie. What? Are you trying to speak? We're in sixth grade now. We need to start doing sixth grade things. I know what cocaine is. Okay, so you see it picked it up. Um, it'll pop up on the screen. It'll say good boys or whatever the trailer is. And uh, if it got it right, then you'll hit confirm. If it got it wrong, then it'll uh, you click wrong trailer and then it'll either listen again or you can select it from a list. So in this case, it got it correct. So we'll hit confirm. It'll ask you some additional questions. Did it play in 2D or 3D? Additional comments. Usually you don't have to write anything there. Um, and then we press done. And so uh, that is for the first trailer. Um, and then you basically just watch the rest of the trailer. Um, and then once the next trailer comes on, you do the same thing. So we're going to uh, pretend that the app did not pick this one up. And so um, if the app does not pick it up, then what you would do is you would click down here to switch to manual mode if needed. And then you can click up here, add another trailer. And then you can select it from a list of trailers. Um, and if you still don't see it in the list, then you can manually add it um, with this button. And so you could search for trailers to add. Um, I'm just going to add whatever. 2D, done. And so you're going to continue to do this process, which is press, it, press the listen button. Um, if the app gets it correct, then you press confirm. And it adds it. If the app cannot listen to it um, and doesn't recognize it, then you just select it from the list or manually type the name yourself. And so you're going to continue to do that for all the trailers that play for that particular showtime. Usually takes about 20 to 25 minutes or so, depending on which uh, circuit you're at. And so um, once you've gone through all the trailers and you are sure that the movie itself is starting, um, that's when you hit this uh, trailers for this auditorium have ended button. Um, you have indicated the movie has started. Please leave the auditorium and complete the rest of the tasks in the lobby. So this is when you leave the auditorium. Um, you do not stay for the movie. Um, you're, that you're not authorized to do that. So we're just going to uh, hit confirm. Uh, and then the, the last thing is these uh, sound and video checks. It's just going to ask you um, how was the sound on the trailers. You're going to select whatever the case may be. Um, how was the video? We'll say sharp. And any additional comments? Um, this is where you want to write... Um, uh, any any strange things that happened um, if it if the theater had technical difficulties you might want to add that um, if uh, there's anything you want us to know um, I would put it in this additional comments box so uh, nothing out of the ordinary happened so we'll hit done so next thing is to review the screen it'll have all of the information we just put in uh, a list of the trailers and uh, all the audience stuff um, if that all looks correct then we'll go to review complete and uh, once all that, all those steps are complete, we'll hit uh, complete task. 
And so it'll ask you this, uh, are you available for a recheck within the next 24 hours? A recheck is if the theater was found to be not playing the correct trailers. Um, the movie studio will reach out to them and ask them to fix it. And so we might uh, give you a call uh, the next day to ask if you'd be available to go back um, and do a recheck. A recheck is paid exactly like it's a brand new uh, check. And so you'll be paid for both the original check that you're doing right now and you'll pay, be paid for the recheck if one is needed. And so just let us know. I, wouldn't, I would not be available or I would be available. We'll say that I would be available. And so it'll tell you now, you have two more tasks to complete. Click OK. And so now it's gonna go right back to this add another screen to audit page. So this is where you would add the next screen, um, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll say another standard screen. Um, we'll add the 840, go through all this stuff. And so uh, you'll continue to do this um, until you've done all the tasks in the same exact way. Okay guys, so once we've gone through all the tasks um, that are required, uh, you can see I have three tasks here. Uh, that's when we uh, hit complete assignment and we're good to go. So yep, uh, that task uh, will uh, clear itself from your today column and it will move over to your completed column. All right guys, so um, that's pretty much it. Um, feel free to call if you have any questions. Our phone number at the scheduling office is 518-379. 0347 and you can uh, definitely get assistance from someone um, if you ever need to email us if you go into the contact us section here it'll have um, our business hours and it'll also have our email and so um, it'll have all this information here that'll be good to know if you ever need to reach us and so yeah guys uh, that's about it um, that's uh, the process for doing a trailer check with movie measure um, I hope that made sense and uh, have a great day bye bye